Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see the assembly line buffer storages. So what is this assembly line buffer storages? It is a storage system. It can be used as a buffer storage zone between the two process lines whose production rate they are significantly different. For example, uh, if you are considering two process sequence in which the first processing it, re it requires operation feeds a second process which operates at a slow production rate means the first operation requires only one ship so as to meet the production requirement while the second step requires two ship so as to produce the same number of units so what is exactly happening in this buffer storage system in this process buffer is needed between these two operations so as to so that that uh, to temporarily store the output of the first process so this automated production lines can be designed with the storage buffers and uh, what is the storage buffer uh, storage buffer it is the location in the production line where the parts can be collected and temporarily stored before producing to the means before proceeding to the other work stations means uh, in this buffer storage line if the production is done and if further uh, operation is been stopped then in this buffer storage that products they are being stored and then afterwards the uh, further process line they have, it is been proceeded then only the work, work piece will be moved ahead and the storage buffers they can be manually operated as well as by automation means by using some uh, programs by using some plc's and all that pro program part we can operate that storage buffer manually or with the help of automation and when it has been automated a uh, storage buffer consists of mechanism so that it will accept the parts from the upcoming workstations to the place to store the parts and the mechanism to supply the parts to the further downstream operations of station processing so what are the key parameters so the key parameters in the storage buffer is that its storage capacity means that's the number of work parts it can hold will be n numbers and uh, the storage buffers may be located between uh, each stations or between line stages containing the multiple stations so these are the basic points to be considered for the assembly line buffer storage and now why there is need of this assembly line buffer storage the first need is so as to reduce the impact of station breakdown means what is happening in this case storage buffer between the stages on the production line it permits one stage to continue operation while the other stage down to repair means in the first stage it is having some operation while the other part it is been down this is in order to avoid the breakdown now second step is to provide a bank or a part for supply of line means in this case parts can be collected into that buffer storage unit and they can be fed automatically to the work work stations required for manufacturing purpose and it also permits untended operation for the system between the refits second third part will be to provide a place to put the output of line means whatever if the production is excess then if inventory is less then at that buffer storage part we can uh, feed the product then it also provide means it allows for curing time or other process delay means the curing time is required for some process such as painting or some other applications so in this case uh, the product can be stored in the buffer storage line and then afterwards it can be supplied for the downstream stations and last to smooth cycle time variation is uh, although it is generally not an issue in the automated line it means there will be no any breakdown for the automation line but in relevant in some manual production line where cycle time variations are there as per human behavior or human work capacity this storage buffers they are provided so that there will be no any other hesitations okay so now what are the types of buffer storages it will be same such as inline configuration then second will be segmented inline configuration which will be having l u shape rectangular shape configuration and last will be rotary configuration so most in most of these three we are considering the rotary configuration for our production line thank you